I'm not ready for this shit. Come on, yes you are. Come on, come on. Shut, Shut up, Jolisa. <laughs> Towards the end of 2017, some of the Pero Light crew decided we need to get fit for 2018. So we called on our fitness celebrity trainer, Melissa Alcantara, who also trains Kim Kardashian to help us out. Perfect. Go, go, go. You guys, she's trying to kill me. Only a little bit. Officially trying to kill me. She exposed us to the hardest eight weeks we will never forget. My name is Melissa Alcantara and I started my fitness journey about six years ago. I gained 70 pounds uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter Isabella and um, I just couldn't seem to lose the weight. And so one day I saw an infomercial on Insanity. It's the craziest workout ever. And I was like, you know what? If these people can do it, I can do it. From that day on, it was a 60 day program and I just followed it through every single day, prepped my meals, and 60 days later, I lost 40 pounds. I had abs, and that kind of set off this whole journey that I'm still going through right now. So I'm gonna be training Pero Like for two months. So they have no idea what is about to happen to them? I used to work out before I started at BuzzFeed, and what I mean by working out was me at home doing some push-ups and uh, walking my dog. I hate working out. It's as though someone is dragging me by the feet and I'm hitting my face and mouth and teeth and everything on like cobblestone. I have a gym membership. I like to think that I'm working out, but really I ain't doing shit. I never work out ever. I get extremely out of breath when I walk up the stairs. I'm putting Pero Like on a macro-based diet. They are going to have to weigh their food, cook fresh food, eat a specific amount of protein, carbs, and fats, which I've created for them individually. I thought macros was like an abbreviation for uh, uh, macarons, so apparently it's not. My hopes for the Pero Like team is not to focus on losing a ton of weight. I want them to be conscious of the food that they're putting in their mouth, of how they feel inside. My weight is at its biggest that it's ever been. I eat bad, I have a lot of heartburn, um, and my doctor says that I'm generally very unhealthy. All I'm hoping for is just to get a little bit slimmer. I've done so many different diets, but it never surpasses like a time period. From this journey, I honestly just wanna gain mental stability and strength. I want to do it for the gain of confidence that I think I've lost over the years with just letting myself go and just eating and doing whatever I want to do. I want to do this because I want to feel sexy. I've actually had hundreds of sexual partners and I've only ever taken my shirt off with one. So learning to love myself a little bit more is gonna be one of the hardest parts of this journey. I am a very emotional eater, so when I'm happy, I eat. When I'm sad, angry, excited, and I think I've hit a point now to where I feel a little depressed and sad because I, am, I don't feel healthy. I want to gain some confidence in myself that I'm able to accomplish this journey and that I will be able to develop healthier eating habits. Pero like, are you ready for me? No I puedo. Don't Fuck no, I'm not ready do for this shit. shit. It's day one and tonight Melissa's coming by after work and we're gonna go do our first fucking workout. <sighs> I'm doing the eating already. I had a good breakfast, but I don't know about this, I don't know about this gym tonight. I'm super excited. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just like, ooh. Everybody's gonna be sweating. Not even the other people. They're gonna look at us and be like, Yo. The one that was like, I'm excited. Now I'm like, what? <laughs> We're about to enter hell, man. I'm not looking forward to this shit. Our first workout with Melissa was rough. Julissa is killing it right now. You okay, Norm? <laughs> My arms are gonna fall off. It feels like my arms are gonna fall off. It feels like my legs are gonna fall off. This is day one. 
and I'm really fucked. <laughs> in the beginning, you know, everyone is always super motivated. And so I saw the motivation in all of their faces. With this new food plan, like suddenly I became more aware of what I was putting inside of my body. This is two cups of brown rice. I made a scramble of sorts that just has half a yellow bell pepper and one whole tomato cut up in four. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's meal prep Sunday. We just went grocery shopping, so wow, I never seen my fridge like this. Look at that. You know, from the beginning, I saw that Julissa was like, I'm gonna murder this, you know? She's like very competitive. I was waking up in the mornings, going to the gym. I'm here. 6.30 in the morning at the gym. Oh, there's no cuts, but after eight weeks, you gonna see. Yes, I was tired, but it wasn't like my normal sluggish tired. It was like, get up, you got this, you can do this. Norb is super strong. I felt like he was in it, but at the same time, he was kind of like, like, oh yeah, I got this. For the first couple of weeks, I definitely was very negative about the whole experience. Uh, I complained a lot. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like cooking. I don't care about this anymore. I don't care about looking good. I don't care about losing weight. But I did the workouts and I did the food diet. Even though I hated doing it, I still did it because I knew it was gonna benefit me in the long run. For Maya and Curly, there's something about building self-confidence. And I saw that that's what they needed in the beginning. The working out part, I was nervous about, but I ended up working out with Curly a lot and I love him so much and we we just like push each other. Every single time we want to quit, we're like, no, just one more set. What's wrong today? So weak. You're not weak. You can do this. You know, I kind of for the longest time like needed the other better likers to kind of be there with me. Like I felt really weird going to the gym by myself. Come on, Curly, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you. Damn. Do it. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Straight. <laughs> straight. Power. Power. <laughs> We had a group text, which was amazing. Definitely being in a group while doing this, I think helped me. One, because I'm competitive, but also the fact that we were in a group chat and talking, the fact that me, Maya, Curly, and Norm all work together, you kind of hold each other accountable. Maya, you're gonna have a piece of the cake? I'm just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your permission to look at it? <laughs> we are at Muscle Farm headquarters in Burbank. We're gonna do sprints, kettlebell swings, battle ropes. We're gonna hit every muscle. We're gonna do a total body workout. Y'all gonna come out like this with guns. Come here, la cara, aren't you excited? I'm not excited, what you talking about? This is gonna be terrible. And I feel like I might throw up, I might cry. <laughs> I feel like I might throw up watching her throw up <laughs> and then I might cry watching her cry. <laughs> the first workout we had at Muscle Farm was intense. I knew it was gonna be hard, and it was a hundred times harder than I ever expected. Push, push, ah. push, push. Let's go, let's go. Ah. I don't know what the fuck I got myself into. I know I'm, I'm kind of regretting this shit. After that first rep, I could promise you, I was like, oh shit, I said I was gonna come out on top, and instead, I'm fucking dying right now, and I didn't want to tell everybody that I was dying. And then after round two, it was like a boost of energy, and all this adrenaline just rushed through me. All right, you guys, let's do this. I was no longer feeling like I was gonna die. For real, for real, like I'm proud of all of us. Like we did it. Yeah, we did we, it. Nobody gave up, nobody was like, no, I'm not gonna, I can't, come on, wait, let's finish, yeah. let's stop. Like we fucking, we did it, yeah, you know what did. I mean? And like, although I was talking my shit, we finished and we that's finished. really what matters and we finished strong on yeah. top of that. So, good hug guys. Like, sweaty, sweaty. <laughs> a sweaty, a sweaty hug. All right, so apparently Mel just sent us uh, a revised workout for the next four weeks. She signs it off at the end as have fun. Mwahahahaha. And there's a little devil emoji. I've, I had just gotten used to the last four weeks. I was pretty good with them. I was starting to get better at the exercises. I was starting to get better at the routine. And now she throws this curveball. I also did see the um, the new uh, workout plan, and I was like, girl, you... No. We're not... I'm sticking to the old workout plan. There's a part where we're like jumping, and we need to jump on a box. I'm like, where's the box come from? What bo How am I gonna jump on a box? Yeah, this... 
glutes, hamstring, whatever day, calves, is real. So be prepared because it's real. I cheated a little bit, but it sparked an entire breakdown because I felt guilty about it. I feel horrible and I feel like shit. I know that it's a process and it's not gonna be fixed like that. And I, I didn't nibble today. I didn't cheat because I don't care. I really care a lot about this and I wanna do right by Melissa and I wanna do right by myself. I realized that like, whoa, what's happening? Don't do this to yourself because you can fix this. You have the control to literally go to the gym tomorrow and work off whatever it is you ate. I feel like I definitely had an emotional, I guess, breakdown where I was sitting in my car and I just didn't wanna get out. This morning was a struggle to get the fuck here to the gym. I'm in the parking garage, I still haven't gotten out. And I'm late, it's like 6.45, not even six anymore. I just want sleep, I just want like a 12 hour night of sleep. Over the weekend, uh, I went out to San Diego. I didn't think about the diet, I didn't think about the workouts. I just decided to go out there and enjoy myself. What are you doing? I'm breaking my diet, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so today, I wake up and I go weigh myself. And in two days, I gained five pounds. So this week, I'm gonna go hard at the gym. I'm gonna lose those five pounds and I'm gonna lose an additional five pounds and I'm gonna try and look as good as possible and finish this off con broche de oro. This shit is actually working. Not only is it working, but I can see the difference, which is even more like rewarding. Seeing it on the scale, cool. But when you're seeing it and feeling it, that's a whole different territory. That makes you want to keep going. Look at this. Look at these bones poking. Like, welcome back, collarbones. Welcome back, girls. <laughs> Discovering my body changing, was ha it happened really fast. I immediately started to fit into clothing that I hadn't fit into in a very long time, which made me super excited to keep going. So my mom has noticed a difference. Um, she commented the other day, she was like, Oye, mijo, te estás poniendo flaco. No estás comiendo, verdad? And I was just like, no, mom, it's like, I'm trying out this like new thing, this diet and everything. We're at Muscle Farm today for our final workout with the whole gang. It's been such a journey, right? I yeah. feel. I think I'm gonna continue this, hopefully, cross my fingers. But uh, what about you? How do you feel? I mean, I feel pretty great. I've complained a lot, but now that we're here, I don't regret any of the eight weeks. I can't believe, uh, you know, their results. I'm just so happy and so proud. We're like sculpting and building booties and muscles. Today we're gonna do total body. It's not gonna be like super duper crazy, but it's gonna be intense. The first workout compared to the last workout was a drastic change. I definitely noticed that we were less nervous to work out with them and we were more determined to make them proud. Together, together. <laughs> Two, <sighs> yes. <laughs> no laughing. In the final workout, I could definitely keep up. Uh, it was still hard, it was still difficult, but it was nice to know that, you know what? I can do this. We did it. Did we do it? <laughs> You're still alive. I lost 30 pounds. My goal for this was to get my ass kicked. I wanted to change my lifestyle, and I feel like I did that. Now I'm going more to the gym. I'm more aware of the foods that I'm eating, and I think none of that would have happened if it wasn't for this eight-week program. I lost 12 and a half pounds. Seeing my face thin out, seeing my body get slimmer, was so rewarding. Melissa's plan really works and I stuck to it. I went to the gym even if I didn't want to. And that let me know that the mental strength that I wanted in the beginning, I had all along. I just had to really work for it. I lost 30 pounds. It wasn't as weird to go to the gym alone anymore. I felt a little bit more confident. The goal was to be able to feel comfortable enough to take off my shirt. And it's interesting because I don't think that I have, I'm there yet, um, and I think that that's okay too. I think that if I've learned anything from watching Melissa is that working out is kind of a process that never really ends. Like you continue to keep growing and it's nothing that you just do once. I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking, I stopped doing drugs and now I'm getting my fitness together. So it just feels really nice to kind of become this whole person and I bring it all back to her and I'm saying that she did this for me and I'm so thankful for her. 
because of the way that she trains and because of who she is, you want to do well. I lost 18 pounds. I didn't focus on hitting a certain number that I wanted to lose. I focused on, does this feel okay? Do I have energy? Are my moods okay? Because my emotions were out of whack in the beginning. And I feel like now that I have this system going, I have everything in check. Your personal goals should not be because of somebody else. In total, we lost 90 pounds. Oh my God, that is insane. <laughs> Oh my God, I am so proud of you guys. You have no idea. I watch you guys like on Instagram and every time I see you, I see the changes and it just makes me so happy. If I did it, you can do it. I'm no different. I'm not a superhero. I'm just, I'm a mom. I'm just a regular person. You have to make time for yourself, for the things that you want so that you can feel good, so that people around you can feel good. 